So in our last two missing pieces, we focused pretty much on naturopathic supplements. Now, I should have mentioned this just the same during those two videos, but I'll say it especially for this one. Um, whatever you're planning to do uh, following these videos, I would strongly recommend you do so under the supervision of a health care provider, a professional, preferably a naturopathic health professional or someone who is open-minded enough to look beyond pills and surgery. Uh, that said, I'm going to go into the third missing piece here, which is basically stuff that was not prescribed to me, stuff that I pretty much dabbled in in my own, and things that I found helped me uh, even when I didn't think they would. I'll explain. The first thing that I used was something, well, pretty benign enough that was recommended to me by my health care, well, my health food store owner uh, back in the day. I'm going to take out my little bag here and uh, dig in. Um, now, omega-3 supplements they can be in capsule form, they can be in liquid form, like the golden rule is in terms of absorption, ability, capability, it's easier to absorb liquids, after that it's easier to absorb caplets than tablets than pills, something like that. Now, liquids, caplets, powders, pills. Liquids, powders, caplets, pills. Sounds right. Liquids, powders, caplets, pills. And uh, pills, I mean tablets. The more liquid something is, or the more crushed up it is, the easier it is to absorb. And so I take my omega-3 supplement in a liquid form. Now, the one I use is a lemon-flavored omega-3 oil, fish oil, a herring oil called Nutrici by Ascenta. Now, it's made, it's uh, marketed by a company in Nova Scotia, Canada, but the fish oil itself is made in Norway and there's about 1500 milligrams of omega-3 oils per teaspoon, which you usually take a teaspoon. Uh, the EPA content is 750 milligrams, the DHA is 500 milligrams. Now to my understanding, that's two different types of omega-3s. And I don't know offhand what each of those mean. I could have done the research, but I figured why just lengthen these things. Let's just stick to the facts. So, I usually take this in the morning, and it's best to take it with no other oil. Let's say, just to give an example, you take this, and at the same time you eat potato chips, okay? Um, your body is going to absorb the bad oil much more easily than it is going to absorb the good oil. Now, why talk about this when you talk about ulcerative colitis? Well, healthy cells are cells that surround themselves with good fats because cells need a layer of fat around them to protect themselves. And uh, if it's bad fats, you get cells that start acting a little weird. Not necessarily cancerous, but possibly, um, well, allergic to stuff. And I tend to feel that ulcerative colitis is an allergy of sorts, an allergy to certain foods and ingredients. But we're going ahead of ourselves here. So by giving your cells what they need in terms of oils, good oils, then they're much more capable of breathing through that oil, communicating with each other, not becoming cancerous, staying in line, and being healthy. All right, so the next thing I took was something that, oh, yeah, and it helps to reduce inflammation. Not as much as the red cabbage, say, but it does help. Okay, that said, uh, one month of May, I think it was less than a year after my first and only major flare-up. Uh, I was visiting my uncle, who started selling a multi-level marketing liquid. Uh, and I don't really believe in MLMs and uh, pyramid schemes and products that are sold through pyramid schemes. But considering I'd stayed there all weekend, I figured I'd pay 50 bucks and get a bottle of it. And uh, before going to volleyball that night, I decided to take just one serving, 30 milliliters, it's in liquid form, and I was stunned at how all of a sudden, after a little sleep that weekend, I was awake again, and atop that, playing great volleyball that night. Um, 
At the time, the product was called Goji Juice. Now it's called Gochi. They say it's different. The taste is a little different. Now they have pomegranate juice in there as well. But the main ingredient is the Goji Berry, which they claim they get from a certain place, the Himalayan mountain, where the sun content, uh, there's a abundance of sun up there on the mountains, and uh, the Goji Juice berries are supposedly better. I just know these work, okay? And uh, so Himalayan gochi juice, uh, or just gochi, is um, more expensive, of course, than the uh, store brand that you can get at general nutrition centers, GNC, or other places. But at the same time, as with most supplements, uh, the Walmart brand is mm, far from the best brand, let's say. And in this case here, the gochi juice really made a difference. Like the next morning, I noticed that, okay, let, let's talk a little dirty here. My stools were much bigger, but I was passing blood as well. So I was kind of scared. I didn't want to jump on the bandwagon just yet. By the time I realized that everything was okay, that my body had adjusted itself to the bigger stools, and I was no longer bleeding as much, everybody was on the goji bandwagon. So in terms of making money, I never did much money on this. I prefer to buy it than to sell it, let's say but it works great for me and if you're interested well just go to the website www.freelife.com that's www.freelife.com I could give you my own link but that would mean that I'd be making money off of you that's for you to decide maybe later <laughs> if you want and uh, another thing that I took in later years that um, I wasn't expecting to help but now I knew that dark chocolate could help lower your cholesterol if taken properly. And I'd heard that cold pressed chocolate was even better. And I had a couple of people I knew who were selling it. And so I bought a box off somewhere. Now, lo and behold, it really did give me energy to the point where I stopped taking the goji juice for a little while just to see if it would make any difference. And these were actually helping me stay pretty much on target. Uh, it's got acai berries in it and acai, I found out, helps me as well, keeping my energy level up. And uh, once my energy level is up, it's easier to be healthy. Uh, these are, am I going to pronounce this right? Zosai Power Squares. And uh, it's just unprocessed, non-alkalized, non-fermented cocoa powder, cold pressed into little wafers. Uh, some say take three a day. I took one. I was sometimes two on my he more hectic days. But it definitely did keep me in line. And supposedly there's no caffeine in these. Like, I mean, I don't drink caffeine. And uh, I never notice the jittery feeling. Although I do eat chocolate and I don't notice the jittery feeling from chocolate. Mind you, the last time that I had herbal tea, not uh, herbal tea, but green tea, I definitely felt that warm sunshine on a beach feeling that caffeine can bring. Yeah, I had a headache the next day, let's say. <laughs> But, um, so these, what's the website where you can get these? I don't know. I only bought one box and I never went further with that. Uh, no, it doesn't say. Well, send me, a, hmm, send me a YouTube message. Let's go that way. And, uh, of course, I would like to add that I have, um, well, taken the habit of drinking fresh pressed vegetable and fruit juices. My favorites are strawberry, blueberry, carrot, and celery. Well, carrot and celery together, and of course, red cabbage. Uh, those really help with putting the, packing the nutrients into your body. They're in liquid form, makes it easier for you to digest, to absorb. And uh, the only other thing that I mentioned in terms of additional stuff that was not prescribed to me, but you know, I heard from suggestions or whatnot, Epsom salts. No, 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 not for swallowing. That's just going to go straight through you, okay? It's known as a laxative. Uh, but bathing in Epsom salts helps your body to release the toxins that are in your body through sweating. And the least toxins you have in your body, the better the chance that your body can overcome whatever's in it. Like it's got less things, your body has less things to fight within itself. And so it makes it easier to recover. And I think that's pretty much what most, if not all, of ulcerative colitis patients want to be able to do, recover. So uh, that was missing piece number three. Stay tuned for missing piece number four, where I'm going to be showing you books which help me and may be able to help you too.